Dr. Kenny Anthony says the government, through the proposed value-added tax system, will place added taxes on water and power. The leader of the opposition made the point during his address to the nation on Tuesday evening. He says contained within the white paper, currently in a public consultative phase, is a proposal to tax St. Lucians who consume more than a certain amount of each utility. Households which consume more than 2,000 gallons of water will be required to pay VAT on the excess. Likewise, households which consume in excess of 180 kilowatts of electricity will have to pay VAT on the excess. For the first time, our consumption of water and electricity will be taxed. Dr. Anthony says with the country recording minus 5% growth in 2009, citizens can ill afford to pay more taxes. He says this is especially so on basic necessities like water and power. The economy is in deep recession. It does not need more taxation. It needs stimulation, not strangulation. The spin doctors can spin from now till the cows come home, but the reality is that VAT will impose new areas of taxation on the people of St. Lucia. The burden of VAT will fall squarely on the backs of middle and low income persons, already reeling from the new tax measures imposed in the past three years. The VAT office admits there is a benchmark for each commodity. Public relations specialist Kurt Reynolds says these were set by Wasco and Lucilec based on the average consumption of lower income families. For power consumption, it applies to anything above 180 kilowatts. For water, it is 2,000 grams. Dr. Anthony accused the government of doing nothing during its time in office but increasing taxes. The major and only plank of its policy has been to impose new taxes. They have reintroduced vehicle license fees, removed the subsidy on the price of small cylinders, increased departure taxes, increased the price of gas by adopting a mechanism which causes unnecessary fluctuation in prices, and significantly reduced the amount that taxpayers can claim for house repairs. Meanwhile, Dr. Anthony will find out on Sunday if he will retain his post as leader of the party. The St. Lucia Labour Party will host its conference of delegates in VA4, where a new executive of the party is expected to be elected. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.